is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. And blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. was saying the same thing that Jesus said in the gospel, only in different words. He was basically saying, blessed are you when you struggle and you suffer. If we are afflicted, it's for your encouragement and salvation. If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. So what is Jesus and what is St. Paul saying? How does he begin? Grace to you. How does God pour grace into us? Through the sacraments through the word which is proclaimed, the good news of the gospel, the sacraments that we celebrate through prayer. And so whatever it is that we have to struggle with and suffer with, Paul is saying, it is so that we can become more like Christ. And whatever it is that we have to endure in this life, The sufferings that we experience in this life are going to produce comfort in the next life. That's what this journey is all about. That's what this journey is all about. You know, when I was praying with the, this morning in my chapel, the Office of Readings in the Breviary, St. Ignatius of Antioch, there was one line in there that caught me, and he says in, in, in what he was writing, Christianity does best when it is hated by the world, I thought. <laughs> well, it's true because the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the faith. Think about it for a moment. What was going through the minds of those people who were sitting in a Roman Colosseum seeing the Christians being martyred? At some point, they kind of stood back and said, what is it with these people? Why would, they, why would they do what they're doing? Why would they experience all of this persecution and suffering? For what and for who? Well, no one does those things for a dead man. No one does those things for empty promises. And so the church does best. We, the church, we do best when we are hated by the world. I hope you are able to see that we are living in a time that it is becoming more and more intolerable and hostile to be a person of faith, for issues of faith. We're being told to keep quiet, keep it in your, par keep it in your parish. Keep it in your homes. Keep it out of the public square. We don't want to hear it. But in the end, these early Christians had to make some very serious choices. 
their jobs, their faith, their family, their faith, their lives, their faith. In the end, Jesus said, if you try to save your life, you're going to lose it. But if you're willing to lose it for my sake and for the sake of the gospel, you will save it. That's the comfort. That's the good news. And so, grace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. In a few moments, you will be receiving grace himself.